Have you heard of the blue ringed octopus? It looks tiny, but it's very poisonous. The octopus is normally cream, yellow, or light brown with faint blue rings. But when it's in danger, the skin around the rings changes color to appear darker. This makes the rings look like they're flashing. This is a warning to other predators to stay away as this small octopus carries enough poison to kill up to 12 humans in just a few minutes. There is no cure for octopus venom, but don't worry, they normally like eating small crabs and shrimps. They mostly live in rock pools and coral reefs in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, from Japan all the way to Australia. They're very small, about the size of a pencil. They live for about two years. Scientists in Australia wanted to understand more about the blue ringed octopus. They went diving in the sea and they found an octopus that was going to have babies. They caught it and they took it with them to live in a museum. Did you know that when the little hatchlings emerge from their eggs, they're bright orange and you can already see their tiny blue rings, even though they're only the size of a thumbnail? So what happened next? The scientists wanted to see inside the octopus to understand how its body works. They did this using a CT machine to scan the octopus and create pictures of the inside of its body. The machine they used is similar to the ones used to scan humans. Have you ever had a broken bone looked at in hospital? You might have had an X-ray or a CT scan too. The same was done to this small octopus. This is what you see inside the octopus after you get the scan. The pictures were used to make this video. You can see the crop, stomach and cecum in light green. These along with the digestive gland in dark green allows the octopus to digest its food, like our stomach and intestines. The brain is in orange in the centre between the optical lobes in green and the eyes in pink and purple. These large eyes help the octopus to see in poor light. The yellow part contains the mouth, which is called the beak. This computer model was turned into a model that you can actually hold and show people. When you print a page on a normal printer, that's in two dimensions or 2D. But when you use a 3D printer, you get a three-dimensional object. You can print all kinds of things on a 3D printer, like clothes and jewellery, toys, and even parts using satellites that go into space. The 3D printed octopus has been used to help people understand how the octopus's body works. It's so much easier to explain when you can see it in front of you and hold a model in your hand. You can see it being used here. This is the actual 3D printed octopus. We hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the blue ringed octopus. It may be small, but it's deadly.